This tutorial is about very short introduction of the atom. Everything in this world, for example, ball, paper, pencil, food you eat, water you drink, etc. are made up of atoms. The earlier people used to believe that atoms cannot be divided. That is, they are smallest possible particles of matter. But now we know that this is not true. So atoms can further be divided into smaller pieces and these pieces are protons, neutrons and electrons. Again, jointly protons and neutrons made up what we call as a nucleus of an atom. So nucleus is the center of an atom which is positively charged. Now protons in the nucleus carry positive charge and neutrons does not carry any charge. So neutrons are electrically neutral and electrons in an atom carry negative charge. Now most of the atoms are electrically neutral that is net charge on an atom as a whole is zero. This happens because in an atom number of protons is equal to the number of electrons and the amount of charge on the proton is exactly equal and opposite in nature to that of the charge on an electron. So charge on an electron is minus 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus 19 coulombs and charge on a proton is 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus 19 coulombs. So here at this point, let us consider an atom of an element say oxygen. As can be seen from this figure, an oxygen atom has atomic number 8. So an oxygen atom has 8 electrons and 8 protons and 8 neutrons. Now, if you add up all the charge of this oxygen atom, that is Q total is equals to 8 times uh, charge on a single proton and 8 times charge on a single electron. That is total charge on an oxygen atom is 8 times 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 plus 8 into minus 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19, which is equals to 0. So you see. All the charge on oxygen atom cancels out and net charge on it comes out to be zero. Same would be the case with all other atoms. Now, atoms are not always neutral. That is, they can become charged if they lose or gain an electron. And these charged atoms are called ions. So if an atom loses an electron, then it becomes positively charged and becomes a positive ion. Again, if an atom gains an electron, it has excess of negative charge and it becomes a negative ion. So this was the short recap on a topic called atoms and ions. For more notes and study material, please visit our website physicscatalyst.com.